probably getting a little worse. Worst place. Wonderful. Definitely. Without a doubt, it's a worst place. A worst place. place. I don't think Britain's right now the best place to live. Probably worse. I think it. I think it is harder. I think it's difficult for all the generations. A worst place to live. Worse. 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 Oh, probably worse. If it's, I don't know. I guess technically it's become worse. Worse, definitely worse. Uh, worse place. I'd say worse. Probably worse overall. Globally, the root problem is related to greed, and I think a lot of the conflicts around the world are nothing to do with politics, nothing to do with territory. I think it's to do with greed and money. Lack of discipline in okay. young folk. Too much stress. It's very good. Uh, economics. I think there's a, there's a breakdown in uh, respect in the community amongst a younger generation. Greed. Don't know. Really, really care to be honest. Climate change, maybe. I think education's a huge one. Probably the governments. Well, religion, uh, politics, war, hunger. Capitalism. Well, uh, climate change for one, uh, population pressures. Overpopulation. Poor leadership in the world. Um, I don't think capitalism as a system works. Lack of opportunities, jobs. I think selfishness is, a dif is definitely a big problem. I think everyone is looking out for, well, not everyone, I think the majority of people are looking out for number one. Uh, and if people can get past that, then you would start to see some problems solved. Um, but at the moment, more people are concerned about what's happening on the stock market than what's happening to their neighbour. So. The wages that we are making having to work longer should actually be filtered into the young people getting their job, because they are our future. <laughs> if, if I knew that, I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be doing what I do for a living. I'd be a lot richer than I am. I think a lot of it has to come from adults. They have to teach children what's right and wrong. I think you really need to start educating children from right from the very age. No, it comes back to education and it comes back to, to the families. Um, I don't know. I really don't know what the solution is. Personally, I would do away with religion altogether. I think that's the, the uh, worst thing it's always been. If you consider all the wars in the, the history of the world, it all starts with either religion or greed, power, power and greed. Get better leaders in the world, get a better parliament in place that have better models for life and stuff, um, listen to people's opinions more often rather than just going with it, what they think is best. Ah, who knows? I wish I knew. Uh, if I knew, I'd be somewhere else from here right now, I guess. Oh, I don't know. I think we just need more investment to keep up the investment in schools and healthcare and that type of thing. I don't, I don't have the answer to that. If I did, I'm sure I would... I would share it with you, sorry. <laughs> Hi there, my name's Mark Fairley for The Fuel Project and last year I released a video series called Know Your Enemy, exploring the New World Order from a biblical perspective. What I want to do now is to introduce you to the second phase of The Fuel Project and the sequel to Know Your Enemy called Stay Free, Why Society Can't Survive Without God. In this series we're going to continue looking at uh, why our world is on the decline, but we're also going to start looking at the solutions to the problem. We're going to start looking at what our attitude should be in the dark days ahead, because undoubtedly we're about to go into some very difficult times, particularly for Christians. Now the purpose of the street interviews you've just been watching was to prove a very simple point. That is, that while the average man on the street can see that there's something going wrong with society, there's no general consensus at all on what the root of the problem is or how we put things right. There was no one answer that came up above all the rest. Some people said teachers or parents or children or overpopulation or even climate change on a couple of occasions. So what I want to do in this series is to provide a definitive solution for our problems. I want to show exactly what went wrong and exactly how we can put things right. Stay Free is now available as an ebook for immediate download from Amazon.com and also from national Amazon websites. If you're not sure how to get there, all you have to do is look underneath this video where a link has been provided.
I can now also point you towards the fuelproject.org where we hope to have a website up and running very shortly. And as always, if you'd like to get involved in discussions or ask questions, all you have to do is go to facebook.com forward slash the fuel project.